Android N keyboard. Android N keyboard. Android N keyboard. Android N keyboard. What the hell am I watching? All right, today we're gonna show you the new Android N Google keyboard and show you how to install it. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so you will see that this is the exact same keyboard from my Nexus 5X. Our coolest feature on the new Google Android N keyboards is that you can change the theme. Uh, for example, if you wanna do different colors, um, you can do all these different colors. Of course, I like green, so I'm gonna set green. Um, you can also change the key border like that. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick. And you get that nice green effect. Now you can also set it to your custom image, which is really cool. Go ahead and select uh, one of these one of these photos here. All right. All right, let's see how that looks here. Um, so that's actually not bad at all. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? All right, the next cool feature of the Android N is that if you go into preferences, you can change the keyboard height. Uh, for example, this is normal, right? And let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. This is normal. Um, you can see it ends right there. Let me go ahead and change this back to tall. Now you will see that it's a lot higher. So this is gonna work out great for bigger phones or people with bigger hands. All right, but if you're a high on Android expert like myself, expert, 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 expert blondie, expert blondie. <laughs> All right, if you're a high on Android expert like myself, you will be able to do more cool things. So let me go ahead and show you. Now the new keyboard, if you're using such a phone as an S7 Edge, you can see I can barely reach the Q. You can put it into one-handed mode. Just go ahead and hold down the enter button. Go ahead and swipe up and you got one-handed mode. Now this is great. Now I can actually reach it. Uh, also swipe is supported, of course. I can do something like my name is Max. All right, that's really cool, right? Also, you can switch it to the left if you want or if you want to use two hands, you can go back like that. Another cool feature is that if you hold down the backspace key and swipe to the left, like this, you can go ahead and choose different letters to erase. Um, so let's say this is a great way to quickly erase two letters. Um, let's say I'm gonna put Jeff instead, Jeffrey, All right? I messed up, I'm gonna go like this and put uh, Mary Jane, All right? Uh, okay, not Mary Jane, I'm gonna go ahead and erase two letters. All right, instead of doing this, this new method allows you to erase uh, multiple words very quickly. Also, if you want to use a cursor, you can go ahead and use the space bar to quickly go back. Now, this is going to work great for those of you who blog on the go. I actually use my phone often to actually blog on my smartphone. Uh, also, if you want emojis, if you guys are into emojis, you can go and hold down the enter button. Go into the emoji section. You got all of these emojis, um, the recently used emojis. Uh, let me go ahead and show you all the different smileys, like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 pages of smiley emojis. Um, you got a bunch of animals here. Um, also, you got a bunch of fruit. Uh, also, all this uh, globe right a ton of emojis um, there's also a bunch of sports emojis there's golf there's snowboarding there is even korean card game this is korean card game that's really cool over here you got bathroom signs if you want and also you even got all the different countries england ireland spain korea even north korea <laughs> if you don't like someone you just be like that you north korean no i'm south korean <laughs> Uh, you get the idea. So that is really cool. So I really love this keyboard. As somebody who types a ton of paragraphs, especially for my blog post, this new keyboard is definitely helping me, especially when I'm erasing words or using the cursor to go back and forth. I really love it. Check it out. It works on any Android device, no root required. Let me go and show you how to install it. All right, you can download this APK at apkquick.com. Uh, go to apkquick.com and go ahead and hit the menu button and hit on Android and keyboard, all right? Uh, if you go down here, you'll see a download link to Android and Google Keyboard APK. Go here, go all the way down uh, to where it says download here. 
wait five seconds and then hit the download. All right, go ahead and download the ABK, say okay. All right, once downloaded, go ahead and install it. You may have to go into settings and set unknown sources on, hit install. You can also use a file explorer app to install it. All right, once it's installed, go ahead and hit the home button, go into settings, go ahead into language and input for your phone and go ahead and choose the default keyboard um, to turn on Google keyboard, hit okay, hit the back button and then change the keyboard to Google Keyboard English. All right, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and access the settings here, uh, which is really cool. And now you should have the Google Keyboard, which is really cool. That's pretty much it, folks. Try out the Android and Google Keyboard on your Android device. Have a great day, folks. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram. And as always, stay ho, 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 ho. on Android. Subscribe!